Please welcome Tobias Metzig, Hanover Medical School. Fluorescent genetic barcoding for multiplex tracking of hematopoiesis. Hello, everyone. So the way we conduct hematopoietic research is highly inefficient because in most cases we would simply subfractionate the bone marrow based on phenotypic marker expression and then we would sort out these phenotypically identical cells and transplant them into a group of mice. However, you can um, appreciate, as, as I said, that this is highly inefficient, but how to make it more efficient? Oh, sorry. This could be accomplished by considering multiplexing options. So multiplexing could be achieved by labeling each population of interest with a color code. And after color coding, you just pool all, all color coded cells together and subject them to in vitro or in vivo analysis, for example, by flow cytometry. Flow cytometry, you can deconvolute all color coded cells and then you can track their behavior over time, for example. And in addition to that, you can also zoom into different time points and color coded cells and look for the expression of certain markers or marker combinations. So we actually wanted to conduct these studies, but first of all, we had to develop a lentivirus fluorescent genetic barcoding vector platform that can be seen here. And this vector platform produces six unique uh, color codes encoded by the expression of GFP, YFP, Cosabiba orange, and two of these um, fluorescent protein combinations. So when we express these color codes into in leukemic cells, for example, you can see that each color coded population locates to a unique uh, gate and flow cytometric analysis, and even more important, you can mix these cells together and still you can deconvolute all six input, uh, input populations via flow cytometry. So what can you do with these kind of assays? Uh, for example, we looked into differential growth behavior of acute myeloid leukemia cells over time. Here uh, you can see, for example, the expansion of the blue color code. We also had a look into execution of short-term drug studies in vivo. And we also performed limiting dilution assays for the estimation of leukemic stem cell frequencies. All in all, especially drug studies and limiting dilution assays require a lot of mice and we could significantly reduce the number of mice that were needed for these assays. The next thing that we are working on is now to increase the complexity of color coding. We now have color codes available that facilitate the labeling of up to 24 <coughs> populations. You can see that these color codes allow the tracking of cells over time. And we want to use this system now to label acute myeloid leukemia cell clones to basically analyze their behavior in real time by tracking their clonal complexity, their growth potential, and drug sensitivity. Altogether, I would like to say that multiplexing significantly reduces cell culture efforts and animal consumption through the paralyzation of sample analysis and thereby renders biomedical research more efficient. Thank you.